Good morning, it's Ian Koniak, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to become a trusted advisor in your accounts. If you sell to the large enterprise, your biggest competition is not another company, but it's actually their company. It's called status quo. And what status quo means is that people are reluctant or hesitant to change what they're doing today, because that's what they know, that's what they trust, and they're adverse to risk of bringing in something new, whether it's a process, a team, or a software package. So um, a great way to get people to change is to become an expert on the problem you solve. People are not looking for you to know everything it is about your product or service. They want you to help them solve a problem, and that's what gets you trusted advisor status. And people think in sales that you just have to know how your problem solves it, but it's actually even more important to know why it's a problem in the first place and what the extent of that problem is. So you can really spend time educating the client on that problem and that can be an impetus for change in their organization. So I'm gonna give you a couple examples of how to do this really simply. So I do a lot of coaching with private clients and this is something we work on. And two of my private clients, one of them is a search company, which essentially what they do is they have their search functionality embedded in a lot of websites or apps, and a lot of their clients are e-commerce sites, okay? And the second um, company I work with is an e-signature platform. So think of Adobe Sign or DocuSign or PandaDoc. These are the types of companies that I'm supporting right now with um, helping them identify the problem. So I was helping my, my person in the, my client in the search, um, figure out what problem they solve and talk to their client about that. Their biggest problem they solve is abandonment. Abandonment of the e-commerce site. Why is that a problem? Because the customers, if they can't find what they're looking for, they're gonna go somewhere else very quickly. They're gonna to go to Amazon, they're gonna to go to another site if they can't identify. So having better search means that customer conversion is increased, okay? Right? Abandonment leads to higher revenue from the website, right? So um, the problem is that if customers aren't converting, the revenue is not going to be where they need it to be at a company. So these are the high level problems they solve. Another problem is a poor customer experience, okay? And the poor customer's experience comes from not finding what it is that you're looking for on a site. Well, if you have an AI-based search engine that can easily find what you're looking for. And not only that, find recommendations of other things that are even more relevant than maybe what you thought you came to the site for. That's absolutely valuable. So this um, client of mine was competing with a traditional search uh, vendor who relies on merchandising um, catalogs where the humans have to go and actually uh, arrange what it is that appears in the search in a very manual way. And his value prop was this was an AI-based search platform. It was AI-based search. And so he had to become an expert, not only on why traditional search platforms warrant delivering higher revenue or better conversions or a better customer experience because it was a manual process. They had to catalog it and humans were taking a guess at what clients would want to see when they did the search. So I think it's really important to be an expert on the problem. The second client was the e-signature client that I told you about and they sell into healthcare. And the problem they solve is really simple. Compliance. If you're a healthcare company, you need to move your medical records to electronic records, electronic medical records or EMR. So if you have a paper-based process, when I check in at the doctor or the hospital and I have to fill out a bunch of forms, those forms have to be scanned in, they have to be um, archived, they have to be attached to my medical record. It's a very manual process, okay? So the big risk is they, they need to make sure that they are compliant and all, the, all of my health records are available electronically. And so I become an expert if I work for that company on why um, they're putting themselves at risk because they're not compliant. Remember, there's something called risk aversion or loss aversion, and it means that people are more likely to take action because they fear 
um, a big loss than they are um, to take action because of a benefit they're gaining. So really talk about the loss of them potentially being out of compliance, okay? The second problem, right, is high operating costs um, from manual processes. Remember, these documents have to be, they're paper-based, they have to be printed, they have to be filled out, they have to be filed, they have to be scanned, right? They have to be shredded. So that's a lot of paperwork, it's a lot of process and a high cost. So if you can quantify that cost and the labor involved and the equipment involved and the time involved, you know, that can show that, hey, this is real money, real revenue that you can put back directly into your hospital or your um, or your doctor's office. And the third area that they solve for is patient experience, right? We've all been there. We have to go to the um, check-in and spend 10 or 15 minutes filling out paperwork before we can even see that doctor when we're a new patient. So that's a poor patient experience. If you could just have everything e-signatured a couple days before, quick, fast, and easy, you can check in faster. Imagine the throughput that an office could have if they got people all moved to electronic res registration, okay? So if you wanna be a trusted advisor, really get really get clear on the problem you solve and understand that problem in detail so you can talk about it with your clients and why it's a problem. That's how you get people to change. A lot of times people aren't even aware that what they're doing today is such a big problem. So it's your job to educate them and really do it from a place of um, knowledge and understanding and not emotion. So become an expert on the problem and you'll see your status raised to trusted advisor. I'm Ian Koniak. Thanks for listening.